My name is Andrea Hall, and I'm the Customer Relationship Manager at Saratac, and I'll be your host today. Presenting today, we have Richard Benwalid, and he is a Saratac uh, Senior Applications Engineer, and he will be talking to you about NX Checkmate. Um, and thank you, and with that, I'm gonna pass it along to Richard. Thanks, Andrea. Um, again, Richard Benwalid, that's my name, and I'm a Saratac Senior Applications Engineer. Uh, just a little bit about me, I've worked in aerospace for over two decades. I was working at Honeywell, for over 20 years um, on air, aircraft engines. Uh, I graduated mechanical engineering, University of Montreal, and did a master's in Arizona and came to live in Arizona for, for work. And I've been here 25, 25 years. Uh, now I work for Saratech uh, for close to a year. And today I will be talking about um, Checkmate. Uh, we'll, we'll do a demo. It will be a live demo on NX and show you some examples. We'll get an overview of Checkmate, the user interface um, in the Checkmate HD 3D tool. Uh, we'll set up and run some tests. We'll resol resolve the identified errors. We will create and run a profile, which is a collection of Checkmate tests, generate a log file and view a report. So what is Checkmate? Checkmate is a collection of quality assurances, tests, that are used to check parts, assemblies, and drawings to ensure that they follow company standards um, and we, using best practices uh, meet and meet model quality standards as well. Um, Checkmate provides options, very user-friendly, that help you identify, select the components and features that contain, contain the reported problems. We'll come back to this slide a little bit, but to understand checkmates, um, there's different different characters involved in the in the design process. Uh, the designer that completes his model or drawing would run checkmate tests in NX, and after running the checks, they review problem areas in the models and edit the models to fix the problems. That'll be the most of what we'll do today, but we'll also look at what a project manager will do, which is uh, view the reports. Um, so that it could be during a life cycle, maybe in Team Center. There's the integration with Team Center and Checkmate, and they can also use the external quality dashboard report generator in HD3D. Um, there are program. It is possible to program your own Checkmate tests, Knowledge Fusion. Um, that's available. We'll touch on system administration a little bit if we want to share. The tests, there's a few uh, variables. This would be what a system administrator would share the, the tests, the, the checker, the checkers with the whole company. So, um, without further ado here, um, I will start NX. That's already started. Um, so, in this model, let me just change the graphics here. Okay, we're going to start with this part here. Um, yeah, I had some. I had run some checks on it already. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have checks already in there. Um, and we're going to run some checks on this part. And so uh, the first step is to, to understand the HD 3D tools. Um, this is basic and NX 1863. Um, you will have uh, a series of HD 3D tools, mostly reporting, graphic um, validation, and visual reporting. We're going to go into Checkmate. I double click Checkmate. Checkmate, to understand the panel a little bit, there's three pieces, there's three parts of this panel. The results, the controls, and the settings. And the results is where we will see the different um, errors in the model and we'll be able to correct them. The controls let, lets us rerun the results or, or view them. And uh, this is how to filter the the um, the results as well as setting up the test. The first thing we're gonna look at is setting up tests. Um, this is important part of the process. And later on, I'll show you how those tests can be predefined so that we don't even, we can just run them. Um, they could also be loaded in a seed model so they could be run. Uh, right now I have all the parts that are in my assembly because I have the all loaded parts option. I could just do it on one part, could be just the assembly. Um, it could be run on a whole directory of parts, which is actually uh, 
a nice feature um, so we can you can correct the whole directory right now I will do the all loaded the next tab over is the tests um, so I'm going to I'm going to go into the first test here one you know in the test there's a lot of information I'll show you where to get documentation there's a lot of different tests um, we have template tests this will test anything inside your your templates for example drafting templates um, the the tolerances the attributes the standards the scales this is in your templates if you go into assemblies you would have things like clearance checking um, in paths and modeling, we're going to do one right now. We we have things like features, checking different features, the chamfers, the size of blends, um, examining geometry. This is more in the data structures, the tolerances, self-intersecting faces, important one, a tiny objects. In fact, we'll, we'll try that one first. So we can examine geometry. There's a lot of different different ones. Sketch. Um, sketch fully constrained is a very common one. A lot of companies want fully constrained sketches or part families need to be updated um, and resolved. Um, in the drafting area, there are tests to make sure the, the drafting is up to date. Um, there's a master model on the drawing. Um, you can have uh, healing, which is update all drawings. It would actually go in and heal your model update all the drawings and and so forth I can uh, you know these are some of the other ones sheet metal design uh, the routing there's one that I created myself here rich and we'll take a look at how to do that later right now I want to start start one so I would select the objects tiny we selected one of the things you can do is you can uh, you can customize your checks in this case I want to find um, instead of millimeters, I want to get inches, and uh, I can customize the size of my tolerance check. Those can, you can take the defaults or you can customize them. I'm, I'm pretty much showing you right now just a very basic test. Um, we can, of course, share tests and create, create a profile to run. But this is how you would create, you know, run tests on the fly. So I, in this window you can you can keep open um, or you can come back to it <laughs> um, to set up the tests. Right now, um, you know, I could see here in my propeller part um, that I have an issue. In fact, just just before I go correct the issue, I want to show you again if I um, go back to this page. Well, one of the things I didn't show you is the run options. Uh, I didn't show you that it does generate an external log file. Um, so as as these things error, it's actually putting it in this directory. It just just created one right now. Here's a directory. Um, and it actually takes the time and date. Uh, 2019, October 3rd, um, 11, 11, 20. 11, 12, and 15 seconds, this XML report was generated, and it shows the failure. So I wanted to show you that one. That's that's in the run options. Okay. When I when I locate this uh, failure, I can I can uh, parse these results. If I don't want to show the past results, I could take off the tick mark. I can. Um, you view each part one by one. Right now I'm set up on part. I could be set up on test. If I wanted, if I had many tests running, I could see which one I can do the test by test. I, I prefer by part right now. Um, once you locate a part that has problems, you can expand on it and take a look at the individual problems with the edges. If you want to go correct it, you can uh, right mouse button and you can open that part in a new window. We can see that we have some problems. We can go right to the problem. Focus view on tag. Um, 
Let me just uh, take a look at this edge here. This is a uh, tiny edge issue. I could see that my edge is actually below uh, 0 0.0025 inches. That's the threshold I gave it. And so I need to correct it. It's a filleting issue. I'm going to reduce. I can make the fillet larger or smaller. Um, now I'm going to get into modeling. Make sure these fillets don't have that small edge. So if we make it a little smaller, that edge will become a little bigger and pass our threshold. And I can re-execute and it uh, passes. If we go analyze that little line over here, we can, uh, we could see why it passed. Now it's over the 0025 threshold, so it's passing our tiny edge limit. So this is a, an, an easy way to just quickly check your files. Um, I can go I can go back here. What I could do now is I can change the test, right? I can just go back to my tests. Okay, I ran this one, I can get rid of it, and then I can go run another one. Um, I can run things like, uh, what I didn't show you is the past file. Let me show you that. That same file I showed you that had the error earlier, I rerun it now. And it should all be passed. Yeah, just proving that the report comes out correctly as well. So yeah, as, as you're doing this, I can um, go get information. That's something, uh, sometimes we want to report, for example, assembly check wave link. If you, you want to know more about these, each each test you can click documentation and you get um, information on that test um, the default value for what wavelength is true uh, if it sees a broken wavelength then it, uh, and then it then it's false so that's what it what it checks here um, we can run the check No, oh, that's, that's the wavelength. I wanted to run the get information wavelength check. Check that wavelength, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it, it executed actually. That's why we see this information here. These are just informational. Um, we can check the status. There are no wavelength features. Um, so you could always check the status with the right mouse button, show info view. It shows it in, in this status, as well as the report that I was showing in the, in the background that gets saved with the file. I can try, I could do another test here. I'm going to do a drafting test. Um, we don't want dimensions with manual text, so we want to correct any any um, non-exact dimensions. If I run that test, I see there's an issue here with this part. In this case, it's a drawing. Um, I could go right to the check. I can open that in a new window because it's a drawing. I will have to switch to drafting. Focus view on tag. There's an issue with this dimension. It's uh, this is just a text. In fact, if we create a real dimension here.
and then rerun this. And then it passes. So that's the way you would correct. Another type of test you might run on a drafting is making sure that the views are updated. So I can do a check, check drafting up to date. I could run two of them together. Uh, I see that this strut one is not up to date. Make sure it's the one that's already open. Um, yeah, the views are, are stay, they're not up to date. So I go update the views. Okay, I've got updated views. And rerun the test. And now the views are up to date. So that's the way you can just go through the model and just keep picking and choosing. Over here, there was a, this is the one where the error failed. And then after correcting it, that error passed. So it's reporting all that information in the background. So, you know, at this point, um, Andrea, are there any questions um, anybody might have? Yes, so I have two questions that just popped up. Is there a document with all of the checks listed? Okay, so, yeah, so you know I show I show that you could get information on any check. If you're in the setup tests, um, when you're in the test here, you can select a any of these model more familiar. Um, and get some information this way. Mm. Okay, um, that's one way. Um, there, I found a, 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 that the there is a document that has everything as well. Um, if you go to menu, so all of this is also found under analysis checkmate. And what we've been doing is setting up tests and executing current tests. Mm -hmm. um, you can also. This, this gets into a little bit of knowledge fusion if you want to create your own tests. Um, but you could also over here, this is a place where you author tests for the company. This is something an administrator would do and share the profiles to everybody. Over here, there is a um, quick reference and it comes up on the side over here. Um, you could go get, so in, under author tests, you have documents on specific tests, but this quick reference will pretty much give you all of the different tests are here. So, you know, um, check drafting up to date. Okay. And then uh, we had two people ask the same question. Uh, is there a way to create, actually there's, they're not the same question. Is there a way to create my own test is one question. And then the other question is, is it possible to create new checks? So it's a little prettier, by the way, the documentation here. They have more examples. Um, yes, uh, that's a very good question. Up to now, um, I did very simple checks where I just went into, into here and just set up my tests. Um, under author, so very similar to the last question, under analysis, checkmate author tests, again, this window where you can go pretty far in here. You can actually create what's called checkers, which is into knowledge fusion. But what you could do is just a company profile. Um, so if I want to call it a checkmate uh, test, uh, I could call it checkmate uh, test also here. So right now you're creating your own test? Yeah, I mean, I'm creating my own test. It could okay. be a set of tests. Um, so this is how you would share things with the company. I'm just going to show you one here. I'm creating a checkmate test, that's what it's called. Um, I'm, I'm creating a new profile. So this is a, the category will be checkmate test. Um, the profile name underneath will be uh, checkmate test and display name will be checkmate test. I'm not very original there, but um, just to show you that you could quickly create something that you can share. Um, mm -hmm. So if I wanted to share, um, 
some of the things I did today uh, to other people. Maybe mm -hmm. I configured this one, the tiny object, so I can go in here and configure it uh, the way I want. That was an inch check I want. So I wanted that one, then I wanted to add um, maybe under drafting, we did a check drafting up to date. We wanted, we checked the dimension manual text. Um, so if we have these three checks, which I did today, then I can um, save this profile. By, it's called a DFA file. So this is what you would share with other people. This could be in a centralized location. There's a pointer variable that can point to this location on everybody's desktop, UGII checkmate directory, and it will look at all these profiles. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this profile. That directory is uh, right, right here ahead. There it is, checkmate test DFA. I created one earlier. But this checkmate test DFA, we just created this DFA. This is the one that can be shared or it could be in a central location. So if, uh, you know, if I can come in and uh, not save this part so I can redo it and reopen the part. And if I wish to rerun those, I can go to I could go to most recently run. I could also go set up test. And then in the test over here, we have, we just created checkmate test. We just created that. And we gave it the name checkmate test, <laughs> very original. These are the three things we put in checkmate test. So we could quickly rerun that. This is the original file, so I'd have to go back in and, and redo the, the, the tiny object, change the fil the uh, blend, and then update my uh, my drawing and the manual text. I, I reopened the file there just so I could show you that I'm running the same test. Um, yeah. And then I can go in and start cleaning them, cleaning them up. Uh, the idea here, what I just did, is to ensure that um, the, uh, that, that everybody in the company runs the same test. You know, once once it's in there, you can just say uh, run the most recent or the one saved in the part if you're using a, a C part. You can just rerun it. But to set it up, you may, it depends on how, how you're running it in your company. So you can do individual tests or you can set up your profile like I just did here to run a, a series of tests and, and that's shared across the company. Once the test is completed, it could get stored back as well to Team Center, which is another option and next Team Center integration comes with. And uh, that's all I had for today. It's just did you to give you an intro on Checkmate. Sorry, did you answer how to create new checks too? I didn't go into the actual new checks, okay. um, but new profiles, new profiles. Do okay, you want so to create a check from scratch? Do that about new checks. Yeah. That would be in the same panel as well. Um, okay. I didn't prepare that, but <laughs> it's in the same panel as well under author tests. Um, it's a, a knowledge fusion where you can create your own checker as well and give it a, a checker function. Uh, the best is to start with an example of one and uh, and create your checker function. This is uh, authoring your own test. Mm -hmm. That test then can be brought into a, a configuration and then creating a profile that you can share with the company. Mm -hmm. Perfect. For more information on that, I, I would suggest the quick information the, the quick resource, I believe there's some samples in there. And you could copy as well the tests that are that are currently available. Okay, thank you so much. If you'll go back to the PowerPoint. Yes, I will. Um, um, so yeah, I had a few takeaways here, which okay. I kind of talked about 
already. It's integrated. Checkmate is easy to find in the HD3D tools, and it's quick and easy to use. Uh, it allows verifying and correcting issues that, meet, that don't meet company standards and best practices, and Checkmate has the capability to report and capture results. Um, and that's all there is. If there's Perfect. any follow-up questions, I can take them offline as well. Yep, absolutely. Thank you so much, great job. Um, our next customer enablement session is going to be on October 17th. We're gonna be talking about Solid Edge 2020 licensing and what changes have been happening with that. Um, so make sure that you go into our events calendar on our website and register for that. Um, just like all of our sessions, if for some reason you can't attend, please still go ahead and register and we'll be sure to send the link out to you. And again, thank you so much, Richard. Great job. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.